Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Kevin Small and today we have a very big update regarding the Trovo 500 program. If you don't know what that is, well, then let me explain very quickly. Trovo has, they call it the partnership program, which I don't really see as a partnership program because it isn't really a partnership program. Um, TLDR, Trovo is basically paying you money like real money to stream on the platform. And the more watched hours you have, not viewers, not streaming hours, but watched hours, the more money Trovo pays you. And that is the Trovo 500. And well, they have just announced some really big changes. By the way, quick note, I'm streaming this live right now. So if you're wondering like, who am I talking to? Who am I answering? And why do I sometimes look over there? It's because my chat and I'm trying to read the chat. Say hi, chat. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're wondering, like, who is this guy talking to? I'm, I'm talking to my chat sometimes. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. People who want to watch me on the Internet. <laughs> hi, Mo. Hi, chat. Hi. <laughs> You, you, you are really jumping on the bandwagon like every opportunity you get, right? Like, ugh, you're the worst. <laughs> so, let's talk about the big changes coming in October to the Trovo 500 program. Hey, Trovers, more spots and lower targets. As we mentioned in September, we are going to increase our investment in the Trovo 500 program by opening up more silver and master spots to support more streamers. Starting from October, the total spots will increase as follows. So there have always been spots for the Trovo 500. I have to admit, though, they are very, how to put that? very open with the amount of people who can actually join those spots like from what have i've seen they have been definitely more people being like in certain categories than they're actually basically promising so they always have given a lot of leeway when it comes to the amount of people who could jump into those spots and they are now increasing the total numbers from 500 to 750 so it is actually not a trovo 500 anymore it is the trovo 750 that sounds so weird <laughs> that sounds so weird but you can see that they have significantly increased the silver spot uh, the gold spot and then it gets smaller and smaller and meanwhile the targets for silver master groups will decrease which is good like Getting 60,000 watch hours to reach the master rank. Whoa, you, you needed to be one of the top streamers here. Like, you need a lot of people with a lot of streaming hours. And now it will be 5,500. Uh, everything basically got lowered a little bit. And the silver tier got actually lowered by 500 hours. So it's now 7,000 hours. For the bronze group, the total prize pool will increase to 400,000 US dollars. So what is the bronze group? The bronze group is the lowest tier and starts at 900 watch hours. And there's basically no amount of people who can join the bronze pool. Like if you're reaching the 900 watch hours, you are in. Like we are right now in the uh, in the bronze category. And they will increase the price pool by another 100,000. Which makes sense because more and more people are reaching actually like the bronze, um, the bronze pool. So yeah, it makes sense that they're increasing it. But there is... An important change coming with this and we will talk about that a little bit later four programs for different communities with the increase of silver master spots and bronze prize tool pool the trovo 500 programs will be divided into four programs 
to meet the needs of streamers from various regions. We've been thinking about ways to increase the support to creators coming from different places all over the world, and the regionalization of the Trovo 500 program serves, serves as an important start point for us to accommodate various needs for growth for creators coming from different backgrounds. In the new programs, streamers will have more opportunities to be invited to higher tiers than before and will get la a larger reward. More importantly, by dividing the program, the competition level of the program will be limited to creators in the same region. We believe it will improve the fairness of the program. Below are the details. Here's the thing. Let's read through this and then I will raise some concerns. First, dreamers can participate in this green program if most of their watch hours are from the regions below. Australia, Ireland, United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, United States of America. And we will, we will click on that and we will have a look at that in just a second here. Streamers can participate in this red program if most of their watch hours are from the regions below. And well, there are a lot of like South American um, countries in there. And then we have streamers can participate in this blue program if most of their watch hours are from the regions below. And this is like all the other European countries, right? Streamers can participate in this orange program if most of their watch hours are not from the regions listed above. Okay, here's my concern. I have an international community. My people are coming from everywhere like literally everywhere i have people coming from all over europe i have people coming from north america i have even people in asia and yes that includes india <laughs> like i have people from all over the world watching me and they are all speaking english they are all listening to me using english <laughs> yes, yes, that's you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, I mean you. Whoever you are, you. <laughs> um, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I wonder how this works exactly. Like, does that mean they're now splitting up my watch hours? Or how, how does this exactly work? Like, I would love to see a more detailed explanation on what that means to my watch hours. And yes, we will click on the details here. Let's do that. Let's see. Here are the updates for the Trovo Green program. Question mark? <laughs> Currently, streamers can participate in this green program as most of their watch hours are from the regions below. So does it mean... If all of my, or most of my watch hours are coming from North America, which they do, or well, English speaking areas or mainly English speaking areas, does it mean all the other people from other regions do not count? Does it mean that they're putting you into the program from where you are mostly watched from? They're not splitting your watch hours. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. If, the, if that is the case, cool. Just cool. You know, <laughs> gets, a, gets a thumbs up. And I'm like, awesome, cool. Because like, I would be in the green program because most of my people do come from like uh, United States and Canada. I think they are like the, the biggest one. And then there's UK and then everyone else. Okay, they're not splitting up the watch hours. Thank you for that uh, confirmation. All right. So we will be basically in the green program. And that's what I have to look out for. Because it seems like every program will have their own requirements at some point. So where you have like a lot of people reaching those hours, it will be significant more problematic to actually get there right 
and when you were in a in a program where there are not a lot of people in there then you might actually have it a little bit easier to get those watch hours because they want you to build those communities and as we know especially the green area let's call them that the green area is still one of the smallest communities here in Trovo. Like, what was it last month? 10% of all the streams is like English. So Trovo is still very, very small when it comes to English-speaking communities. And yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Especially for the bronze tier people. That should be good. Because then you are just getting more out of the 50,000. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how this will look like. Yeah. All right. That's curious. All right. But yeah, thank you for the explanation. I do appreciate that. Let's go back to the original tags. It is a problem for some streamers because they don't want to be in a certain programs, but they are mostly watched by viewers from regions that they don't live at. So if you're from the UK, but most viewers are from the blue program, you are stuck with the blue program and they don't like that. Yeah, I can think that's a problem, but here's the th like, yeah. Yeah, I can I can totally see that. Like that they basically put the UK into the green program and every other European country into the blue program. That's a little bit weird. Like I'm I'm specifically focusing on North America. Like I know that most of my of my viewers are actually coming from North America. Like that's not that's not really a secret at all. That's a fact. I can actually show you that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where do I see that? Stream analytics. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, can we have like by period? Thank you. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind showing that. I have no secrets. Well, I have a few, but not all of them. But yeah, you can see that most of my people are coming from the United States, Canada. So this is where I get most of my viewers from. And then there's Peru, Brazil, Germany, Serbia, United Kingdom, Russia, and a lot of others, apparently. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. But as you can see, like... My highest number is from the United States. Yep. I wonder what the others are. Oh my. Oh my. 5% from Serbia. Oh, we have apparently some people from Serbia. I'm pushing you to the blue program. Nah, the highest number is United States. So I'm I'm a green I'm a green person. Like I don't have to fear that. Like others is just whatever that is. Like a mix of everything. So that doesn't really like push me into the into the blue program. Uh yeah, like most of my viewers are from the US. So, but yeah, I can see, I can see that some people will have a problem with that. I can, I can totally see and understand that. And we have to see what happens. Like, as I said, I find it a little bit weird. Um, yeah, most, most of my viewers are actually from the green program. So I don't really, which is to be expected. Um... And also right now, another thing which is very important, and we get to that in just a few. Um, a lot of the people who are coming from the regions you have seen are also people who are coming in for the treasure box. So that is also very important to note. 
so the numbers are a little bit skewed into the direction of like where people are coming from the treasure box so but that would change but yeah i can see that like this is still very weird that basically the uk is in the green program but every european country is in the blue program it's like that's weird Yeah, like, ha, huh. this is, I can I can see that some people are not happy about this. Uh, we will see what changes will be made. Like, the good thing is Trovo has already a survey out where, um, where they are asking for feedback. So they, they are already collecting feedback. Um, I will actually, let me, let me post the, let me post the survey very quickly in the chat. Uh, oh well if you think that you are in the wrong program then you can basically like notify them and tell them hey this ain't it but yeah they are listening to people as always and they will make changes which is a great thing like that's that's one of the reasons why I like Trovo so much because they are listening all right, next one. Streamers can check on the Trovo 500 page to make sure they're probing they can participate in. Oh, do I see that? Wait a second. Do I see that? Right meow? Is that is that a thing? Wait a second. Let me get to the Oh yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm in the green program. Oh yeah, I'm I am so what in the in the green program. Ha <laughs> ha. By the way, I don't I don't mind showing this. Yup. I'm definitely in the green program right here. Let us know if you were in the wrong program. Nah, I, th I think I'm uh I'm 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 pretty sure that yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where I belong. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So there you go. Mm-hmm. So we are good on that. Um, also, they will only be ranked with the streamers in the same program. Ooh, which rank do I am right now? Okay, I have to check that again. I am so sorry. Let me check that. I am rank... Which rank I am? Wow. Hey. I'm ranked 337. Out of 340. <laughs> no, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> but man, there's still a lot of people in front of me. Huh. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right. Risk control algorithm upgrade. With the exciting news of regionalized Trovo 500 programs above, we wanted also to bring up a serious topic here. Suspicious viewership. Looking at you, Chad, you are suspicious again. You are sus. You are very sus. You are very sus. Just saying. While we are working on making the Trovo 500 program more diversified and easily accessible for content creators, we have also received a lot of comments, reports and suggestions against viewbotting or the overall cheating in order to get into the program. Um... So unfortunately, I'm not allowed to do a 24-hour stream with only the break screen up anymore. Just saying. <laughs> no, I've never done that. <laughs> I, have, I have only done one 24-hour stream in my whole streaming career. And that was at the release of Battlefield 1. And the only thing that did was me hating Battlefield 1 afterwards. Yeah. 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 Um, with full confidence... Oh no, we do want to take a moment to recognize how hard our data and risk control team is working to identify the abnormal viewers in such a mass amount of channels. They have really come a long way since the beginning of the Trovo 500 program. We, now, we know how important fairness is to many of you 
as viewership is the key metric for getting into the program. Again, the least thing we want is for anyone to feel like their hard work is going, not going to waste. Still, 50k divided in the green program will probably boost your payment a bit. Oh yeah, I I definitely assume that. Yeah, like I was I was always around the top 700 on Trovo, and now I'm like in the top 300. Um, yeah, I I definitely assume that would boost the um the overall money a little bit, but we will see about that. Like he, here's the thing. Interestingly enough, I am not calculating the Trovo 500. Like it's it's not my main source of income and I only see it as a nice bonus to have. Like for me, subs is the most important thing and even like the um, the Elixir is like an important thing. But that's about it. Like that is like especially subs is something I'm calculating with. Um, the Trovo five hundred is just a sherry on top. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Simple as that. With full confidence, we would love to announce that the risk control algorithm is being upgraded starting October first. In order to keep the integrity of the Trovo 500 program as our priority, we are deducting the watch hours gain unfairly from risky viewers from your effective watch hours. The system generates a final watch hour analyzers in real time. Anyone who is flagged by the new algorithm as a risky viewer, chat, don't be a risky viewer, don't do that to me, <laughs> will not have their watch hours counted towards a streamer. Again, we want to ensure you if you are a real viewer, eh, there is really nothing to worry about. Just simply lurking or not interacting does not make the system treat you as a suspicious viewer. Please talk to me. Please talk to me, Chad. Please. Don't let the algorithm get you. You have to talk to me, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well then. Uh, go back lurking, legend. Oh, man. Go, go back lurking, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you were all suspicious. You were all sus. You were all sus. Hey, that's me always in the shadows. Dude, I'm the worst lurker there is. I'm looking in so many channels. It is it is ridiculous. Like I had literally people sometimes messaging me and telling me like, "Wow, you have watched me for like 600 hours already, but you don't speak in my chat." Yeah. Wow. And now I will never stop by ever again because you called me out after 600 hours, you dick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, no, I appreciate all the lurkers. Like, thank you so much for being here. You're the lifeblood of many, many channels. And like, as I said, like, I'm a heavy lurker myself. I'm putting a stream on my second monitor. And then I just watch you as my, as my TV program on my second monitor. It's just as simple as that. And believe me, I'm watching you. Yes, I see some streamers here on my channel right now. I'm watching. I'm watching you. Don't you think I'm not there? I see what you were doing. Failing in destiny over and over again. Dying to the same event over and over again. And then crying about the unfairness of the developers. Yeah. I watch you. <laughs> I love how all the Destiny streamers on my channel are low, like, oh, hey. yo, another mic, another, another lurker. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. There is the possibility of some of you see a bigger percentage of hours deductions than others. If you are noticing lower effective watch hours than your average, 
You can always request a detailed breakdown from the feedback portal in our Creator Studio to see where the deductions are from. If you notice an abnormal amount of suspicious viewers in your channel, <laughs> daily basis, daily basis, yes, actually all of my community, <laughs> please report it right away as it helps the system to identify. Here are also some things we would suggest to maximize your effective watch hours. If the viewers from an external website is high, remind the audience to come to the Trovo website or app to watch. Um, I do not link my streams, so you have to come to the website to watch me. Oh yeah, that sometimes happens to me as well, Mr. Tubes. I sometimes, like, I got a heart attack. I kid you not. I got a heart attack when I sometimes go into my Trovo Trovo thingy and it it tells me you are live right now and I'm switching to my OBS which was still open at that point and I'm like no no I'm not streaming okay 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 all good <laughs> yeah it does that sometimes it seems to be a bug which started like a week ago or something but OBS is not even open yeah yeah I know it's 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 weird it's a bug I don't know. If AFK raiders account for a higher proportion, proportion, interact with the audience more being raided to show them you are best. Oh, I'm doing that. Like every time a raider is coming into my channel, I'm like, get off my lawn. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm showing them the best I can be. A total dick. Huh? I'm good. If suspicious viewers accounts for high proportion, it might not be your fault. It's us. We swear it's us. We should probably split up. Wait, they're not saying that. Any platform naturally has some users with abnormal behaviors. <laughs> I love how they're saying this. We have some users with abnormal behaviors. I mean, you have apparently a lot of people who are playing Fortnite and COD Mobile, so... Yeah, I agree on that. <laughs> like, I totally agree on that sentiment. <laughs> Such as audiences who stay in the live broadcast room but hardly watch the live broadcast. And some accounts are manipulated by specific botting techniques and batches. If possible, we suggest that you still try to interact with the audience as much as possible. Guide them to pay attention. Send chat and activity with cast spell to reduce, to reduce the proportion of suspic suspicious viewership. Uh, so listen up, you suspicious viewers with abnormal behaviors. Um, you should definitely send me some mana and some elixir and maybe a sub here and there. And if it really cannot be helped, you should say something in chat right now. Because let's be honest here, who wants to be a suspicious viewer with abnormal behaviors? Do you want to be that, Chad? I don't think so. You should definitely do something on that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> you were great when Trovo raided you. Eh, I, I hope that would have been better. So more people are coming back, but, you know, I mean, I, I should have a t-shirt and have printed on it. I got raided by Trovo and the only thing I got was Mr. Tops. <laughs> Uh, that would be a great t-shirt. <laughs> Thank you again to the awesome Trovo community for constantly bringing up the importance of fairness to us. We know how important it is to compete in a safe and fair environment. We hope you're excited as we are for the risk control algorithm update. Yeah. 
Am I not good enough? Eh, middling? I mean, you, you work with what you get? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Dracotai. Speaking of which, you working with what you get. Hey, Dracotai. Man, I'm 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 in a, in a dickish move apparently, but uh, jokes aside, this is super important. This is this is super important here. Uh, one of the problems Mixer had, they had a well not a similar program, but they had a program where mana was worth money, right? Like you could basically spend mana, and with that spent mana, you could make money. And of course, as that stands, people started to create tons of fake accounts to just collect mana and give it to them in their channel. They were farming money. And there were just like a lot of questions. There were also another thing where at some point Mixer did something very similar with Trovo, where for watched hours, they would just pay you money. Right? Like for 100 watch hours, they would also pay you a hundred dollars. Um, That's what they basically did for a month. And people just abused that. And Mixer could never really promise that they are fair and square on this, that they are really trying to fight that system. There were always a lot of people who questioned this. And there were a lot of people who always were like, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that that person is faking their numbers to get like extra money out of this. And sure, there are always people who will claim that, right? But especially, like, Mixer could never really win the people over that suspicious viewers are not a problem. They could never fully win the people over. And I think Trovo is doing an excellent job so far. I have not really seen anyone from the community openly criticizing Trovo on Twitter, Reddit, Discord to say, whoa, Trovo is shit. They are not managing to keep out the fakers and they are people who are just making tons of money from Trovo. I have not seen that yet. And believe me, as a streamer who has been in the industry for quite some time and knows what streamer Twitter is, not having seen that yet is a good sign. Also, the Discord. Look, I have been a Mixer partner for five years. <laughs> and the Mixer partner Discord was one of the worst Discords I've ever seen. When you were going into the Trovo Discord, it's a different world. It's an absolute different world there. So, whatever Trovo is doing, they're doing the right thing. And I'm pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, it was a cesspool. Like, everyone was backstabbing everyone for basically five bucks more. It's... It's kind of crazy how people saw Mixer and Microsoft as the cash cow and how many people tried to milk that cash cow. And if they had to go like over like walk over dead bodies, aka their other streamer pals, they did that. <laughs> they totally did that. 
Like the moment there was just a chance that you could make $5 more per month, they would murder people left and right. It was disgusting to watch. Like there were there were a lot of people where I was just like, wow. And I, I said that before and I meant that. If you would focus on your streams, as much as you were focusing on backstabbing your other streamers, you would be one of the top streamers here on the platform. Just saying. Like, ugh. Horrible. And by the way, Mr. Tops, just to make that clear, I was joking. I'm glad to have you here. And glad that you decided to hang out here sometimes, even as a lurker. So thank you very much. And I mean, that goes to every lurker out there. I know we have a lot of you. And seriously, thank you for your support. Hanging out here, spending a little bit of your time. And, well, hopefully having a good time by just me playing video games and doing bullshit. I think it's so much for that. All right, let's continue this. And man, by the way, I was actually recording this for YouTube. I am not sure if I will put this on YouTube now. <laughs> we were derailing so hard. Oh, and then there's Pirate King, by the way. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Good morning, Pirate. Good to see you. HW deduction from the discovery treasure box. This is a big one. For this month, we also have another change in store for the discovery treasure box. Starting October, we are deducting the discovery treasure box watch hours from your Trovo 500 watch hours. What this means is that the discovery boxes can no longer be used to gain a direct advantage in the Trovo 500. The hours will be deduct are the ones from the viewers directly clicking on your discovery box from the leaderboard and going to your channel. We still think that discovery boxes can play a role in growing your channel and it is a great tool for you to grow your audience, which was also the main thing we intended it to do. So keep on creating those boxes to grow your channel and get discovered. Some additional guidelines. Watch hours you see in the Creator Studio already have the discovery box hours deducted. So what you see on the Trovo 500 page is what you get for the Trovo 500 program. This will not impact watch hours gained with community boxes. If a user will return for the next stream after they discovered you with the discovery box, we will count them as a regular user. In the end, streamers' will well-being is always our top priority at Trovo. Yes, we will talk about this in a second. Any issues related to the concerns and welfare of the community are taken very seriously. Some members have expressed certain concerns towards the program's competition scheme and its result of extended streaming hours. Yeah. Yeah. I have a slight problem with it. And this is why I don't really treat it as something I want to achieve because I realize that my mental well-being is more important. I have learned that after five years on streaming on Mixer. And I have learned that the hard way, unfortunately. So, but I can totally see the problem here. I totally do. While we want to encourage content creators to freely explore Trovo to its fullest, it is not our intention to encourage streaming over time and the health-related issues it might cause. Community feedback is always the priority for Trovo, and they mean that. I know when, well, Twitch is saying this, that doesn't mean much. It really doesn't mean much. But Trovo, from what I have seen now after being here for nine months, yes, they listen. And they act fast. So they mean it. We will continue to update the Trovo 500 program each month based on the community suggestions in the future. Enlarging the total price pool, setting a more diverse matrix of targets, and enforcing strict rules on suspicious viewership. Feel free to leave any suggestion. suggestion wow, that word is always killing me. In our Discord or Trovo official channel. 
So let's talk about the treasure box here very quickly. Um, first of all, I want to say that I voted for keeping the watch hours from the treasure box in the Trovo 500. I voted for the opposite direction to make that very clear. Why is that important to note? It isn't really, but here's the thing. I do think it can sometimes help people achieving something, even if they boost themselves a bit. But I also see the opposite problem with it, where it is pay to win. I, I, I totally see the problem. The more money you have, the more you can ensure that you are using your discovery boxes, boxes, <laughs> boxes three times a week, and you're being discovered easily on Trovo, right? And you, it is much, much easier to reach the Trovo 500 with those boxes. That's just a fact. And so I can totally see where the other side is coming from. So I'm not, I'm not mad with either of the two decisions. If they would have left uh, watch hours in the treasure boxes, I would have been okay with it. If they now removed it, I'm okay with it too. And we have to see what, what sticks. And hey, Mnemonic, good to see you there. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, here's the thing. Um, I, I will be completely honest here with you. I reached the Trovo 500 because of the treasure boxes. Well, the bronze Trovo 500, not the silver one. I have, I have totally reached that. Yeah, I admit it. I would be lying if I don't say I did. Absolutely. But I will still use the discovery boxes. And I'm using the discovery boxes very specific wise. I'm using the discovery boxes when I'm doing something big in my channel. I have used them very conservative. I've used them when there is a new release coming out, like yesterday with Deathloop, right? I activated the mana rocket. I used the treasure box because Deathloop came out. Big game, hope to gain a big audience for it. And that's why I used it. So, I, yeah, I will still do that. Like by the end of the week, we have to see, I want to use the uh, the treasure box for the Age of Empires for Bader and playing with lemons, right? I want to do that. I'm always looking for big releases where I can use the treasure box. For example, one streamer told me that the last person in Silver Blue program has 2,100 hours currently. Oh, yeah, I can see, like, this is definitely something that I think the numbers, and now with the categories, I think in November, we will see some big changes to the numbers. Like, the numbers Trovo has right now, we're not there yet. Like, for, like, before that, where we basically only had um, one category, it got pushed quite a bit by the people from, what is it, the Red Program? Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's, let's be real here. The hours got pushed quite a bit by the people from the Trovo Red Program. Because, well, Trovo is very much focused on Spanish and Portuguese streamers. That's, that's nothing bad. It is what it is. Yeah, I think that too, Mr. Troops, yeah. 
like the it's, it's kind of crazy when you think about it like there was like ten dollars right ten like a thousand elixir and not a lot of people came in there but yeah with the language it makes totally sense let me show you this very quickly um so this like look at this 39.6 percent are spanish-speaking viewers on trovo right now the number two is english with 9.6 and then there is unnamed whatever that is portuguese is right after that there's another unnamed like yeah and most streamers as spanish-speaking streamers It's because you had a, yeah, because I want that the people are like staying here a little bit and hopefully watch, you know. Like if, if people don't have to interact with me and just come in here to f like just not follow, not watching for a while. There are unfortunately a lot of people here on the platform who are just going around to collect, uh, to collect the elixir. Like they are literally just opening it up and then they are going AFK. They put you on mute immediately. They throw your tab like somewhere in the nowhere, right? And I don't I don't want that. Like, sure, there they are definitely some people which are just coming in to collect their their elixir. <laughs> it's free money, right? And where there is free money, there are a lot of people who just want to get on it. But that's not what I'm aiming for. So for me, most of the changes they're doing to the Trovo 500 and Trovo Treasure Box doesn't really impact me. Doesn't really. And I will still just use it for growing my channel for hopefully getting more viewers in hopefully getting some people who are interested in my community and what I'm doing and does that mean I will probably lose my Trovo 500 starting next month yeah probably pretty high chance because right now we do not have the community size yet to like fight the amount of hours I will lose by not having like the treasure box hours. Absolutely. Will happen. I, I pretty much predict that. Yeah. But does it phase me? No. Not really. Again, for me, the Trovo 500 is the cherry on top. It's a nice thing to have. But nothing I'm calculating with. So, yeah. By the way, speaking of uh, of things, Trovo is growing, man. <laughs> Trovo is growing. Like, if we are talking about numbers, like Trovo is absolutely growing. It's a good thing. But uh, before we talk about this, let's go back to the whole change here. Um, I Again, I'm very curious to see what the discovery treasure box will do. And I think with having now like multiple tr uh, teams or programs, uh, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, let's wrap it up here for YouTube at least. Uh, we can gladly talk about that in a second here on the stream. Uh, but for everyone who is watching this on YouTube and who has been watching for 50 minutes, holy moly, thank you so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, then I would appreciate if you're on your way out to leave a like, 
if you're new to this channel, you want to see more gaming reactions, uh, gaming news, opinion videos, Trovo news, tips and tricks for new games, and so on and so forth. Like the whole gaming shebang, I would also appreciate if you might subscribe to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. And it is also free. And don't forget to click on the bell icon, because if you don't do that, you will never get notified that I have a new video up. And we are releasing a video on a daily basis. And if you ever want to catch me live, you can do so on trovo.live slash chaosmall from Monday to Friday starting at 9 a.m. ET, which is 2 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. Central European time. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.